And Thackwell's coming in early. Thackwell is coming in before his scheduled pit stop. Could that be because he's tired, he's got a problem? Out goes the number 18 Porsche. They'll go up to third place. And Christian Danner's car is in and they've got problems actually starting the car. And there is a Jag in. They were in third place, they'll drop down to fifth spot. Still the race leader though. Jochen Mass with Stuck now some seven seconds behind. John Nielsen in the car. That was an early pit stop. Nielsen out. He'll rejoin in fifth spot. Tom Walkinshaw talking to Mike Thackwell. And there you can see Thackwell sweat pouring from him. He says that this is one of the hardest races he's ever had to do. Jan Lammers had, of course, been in second place before the incident and uh, Thackwell absolutely drained. There is a Jag, driven now by John Nielsen. And Hanstock. Well, that's the idea of Dr. Hubert, who is the Porsche doctor, to keep them cool. Buckets filled with ice. Both feet in, both hands in. And a fairly cool Hanstock. None of the drivers have ever experienced this sort of heat before. They say it's perhaps the most difficult race on the World Championship calendar. Back to the Jag, there is the rim and tyre that destroyed the chances of the number 52 Tom Walkinshaw racing Jag from finishing the Selangor 800 kilometre race. And Jackie Ix, no it's not a fire extinguisher, the airline to keep Jackie Ix's brain cool we hope, but certainly to keep him cool. The Brun Porsche, driven now by Sigala. That's actually just been taken by the Jag number 51 of John Nielsen. So in comes the race leader, Jochen Mass. He'll hand over to Jackie X. Jackie X, you notice, wearing an open-faced helmet. As is Derek Bell. But uh, Jochen Mass and Hanstuck have both of their enclosed helmets. Surprise, perhaps, because I would have thought the open-faced helmets would have been a lot cooler in these sort of conditions. The number two, Rothmans Porsche driven by Derek Bell, catching up that lap. <laughs> no, Jochen, you put it in your mouth, not up your nose. The driver's taking in as much liquid as possible. And there in the distance, you can see the clouds forming once again. No real dark clouds at the moment, but rain is forecast towards the end of the race. The race should finish at about half past four local time. That incredible rainstorm that we had at the end of practice appeared at just before half past four the previous day. Once again, the battle here. Christian Danner, of course, and Costas lost his march some way back. But this is the battle now between Andrew Medici and James Weaver, who's now in the car. Meanwhile, the race leader, Jackie X. But Derek Bell is closing on him. Bell most definitely closing on the leader. Was 18 seconds, it's no more than four seconds now. And Derek Bell really driving a storming race. John Nielsen, well, he's in third place, still on the same lap now as the leaders. And the Jag still in touch. Oh, as the uh, James Weaver driven Porsche tries to get past Andrew Medici. The Australian having none of it in the John Fitzpatrick Racing Porsche. Right up the back end of the 956 Porsche we go. This the battle in fact for fifth and sixth spot. Looking to the inside. Oh, and Medici trying perhaps just that little bit too hard, getting a little bit wide here. Now clipping the apex. This a good battle. Accelerating hard. Oh, a little bit too hard out of the Matrix complex. Looking to the inside and we go past with James Weaver. 
<laughs> James looks over to his side, and there the leader. Oh, and in second place, Derek Bell really has closed up. So that gearbox in the back of that Porsche obviously working to good effect.